nice glasses, bro. She said the flex out. Oh my. We got the Ameri the America. We got because you're broke. I just couldn't afford these, so I had to go spend a check quick. Is it sunny in Dushville or what? Kinda. What is up, everyone, and welcome back to another video. As you can probably already see, me and old Adam, we're up to a little something this morning. We got the old trailer here that we just hooked up, as you saw, and we have slow boy Adam that has arrived about 45 minutes late. So we're right on time for Adam. We are going to start our journey up north. We got about a six-hour drive. I'm not going to tell you guys where we're going just yet, but it's going to be fun. So stay tuned. We're going to uh, get into our little trip here, and we will see you guys when we arrive at our destination. See you there. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, Click on that subscribe button. Click on it. All right, good. We'll see you guys when we get up north. Dang, boy. This thing, why? Yo, who said you could park in here, bro? What? What? Yo. Ew. <laughs> Pretty know what's up. Lots Dang, what's up. son. You got it. Woo. Dude, messing around, dude. Well, I did contribute something. It's actually something that John bought. I stole it from John. No. Nice. Well, he left it in the shack, but it's a snapped in half Jack's Pizza. I was going to say lots of matzo, but say it. What? That broke boy shit out of here, man. Yeah, John's way too broke. Hey, I also got like some broke boy it. bagged ice. It's like we're going for a month, dude. It's All like right, so this is the situation in here. This thing is like loaded down very heftily we have like literally everything you would probably ever need in this thing and then if you come out here we just got a bunch more we are ready for like a month on the ice it's not gonna be that long but we're ready for a long trip here so i don't know how long we're staying but we're gonna send it up there and now we're gonna try to get on the road it's about 8 30 so uh let's start this journey We swing in at him. Yeah. Hey, Willie the walleye. Hey, that was Willie, bro. You gonna catch one that big or what? No, I'm gonna just get this Willie wet. All right, you guys, well, uh, it's probably not much of a surprise because I realize I'm probably going to title this video Lake of the Woods, so, like, I'm kind of an idiot for trying to make it, like, seem secretive when we left. But, as you can see, we arrived up on Lake of the Woods right now. Well, we're not on the lake, but... We are at Wigwam Resort right now. We just bought our road pass to go out. We're gonna be here for three to four days. We're not really sure yet. We'll see how the fishing is. But uh, pretty much, they're driving about eight miles out right now. That's how far wheelhouses are getting let out. And there's a ton of freaking snow up here. So we're gonna wait on someone to plow us a spot out off the road and hopefully get our shack out here sometime soon. What we're doing right now, I got old Adam. You guys saw Adam. You don't want to see him anymore. Just kidding. Whoa. Sorry, Adam. I'm sorry. That was actually kind of mean. But we met up with Fish here. Yep, his name's Fish. He's getting his camper plowed out right now. So we're back at the campsite here, and there's a ton of snow. So old buddy's going to plow his camper out for him, and he's going to get some stuff situated in there. We're going to wait for the plow guy here, and uh, we'll get back to you when we're heading out on the ice. All right, so we're ripping out on the lake right now. We're heading out right now to our first spot that we're going to try. When we get out there, we're going to holes there's like 24 inches of ice out here apparently and then uh, we'll get back to you guys all right well as you can see it is now pitch black out we just got to our spot well I shouldn't say just we got to our spot that we're set up in probably about an hour ago we're situating the shack drilling holes we are about eight miles out right now and we're set up kind of ready to rock so we're gonna get inside because it's freaking brutally windy and cold out as you can probably hear in the audio of this let's go see what's going on inside holy crap buddy Oh, nice, you have some work for me. Bro, it's like 20 feet of ice here. <coughs> hey, you ever seen Lake of the Woods snow cones? Settled. Did you bring the sauce? We have the furnace ripping. I got a space heater back there ripping. Thank God, it's starting to warm up in here. I'm gonna try to get this thing uh, blazing hot, but we have two holes drilled here, and like I said, the ice is freaking super thick out here. So hey, your truck uh, blew away. We're gonna finish up all our work and uh, get situated in, and we will get back to you guys real soon. Is that all you do is hold that dang thing? Oh, look at this guy. He just does his first little bit of work in here and starts talking crap.
All right, well, we just got everything set up. And uh, it's about 7 something right now, and the line alarm just went off for the first time. Something's on it. Let's see what it is. Oh, I'm reeling left handed. This will be good. Nope. What the? Okay, something is on it. <laughs> this is going to be a rough fish. This is going to be nothing good, you guys. Oh, it's a walleye. Dang, son. I definitely did not think that was going to be a walleye. We got a nice little 14-incher here. That's our first fish of the night. But uh, we're going to get this guy back in the water. I'm going to get this guy back down in the water. Then we'll give you guys a little bit of an update on what we're running for baits, lures, and uh, kind of our setup here. All right, well, what we're going to be using today is a JR stop sign. Just like a green, orange, and white one here. You see the color and then the back side's gold. And then I just got it tipped with a minnow head here. And we're going to drop that guy down. Me and Adam are going to start out by each jigging with a rod back here. But if it's really slow, I might end up putting another line alarm down. So we got the two line alarms up front there. And then we're each going to start jigging here. I don't know what he's running. Some weird crap. Dude, I got a glow stick on mine. That's it? Just a glow stick? Yeah. With a piece of corn. <laughs> Holy crap, I don't have enough line. <laughs> no way. Oh, dang. Adam's got a mark on him, Jig it. I got a mark right on me now, coming up. Jeez, it followed me up like three feet already. It hasn't hit yet. It's like right on me. I don't know what it is. Something small. My jig. Is it? <laughs> it was at each other's jigs. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. That did not just happen, bro. Shout out to uh, old Johnny boy for the fruit snacks, bud. You left a bunch of snacks here, and me and Adam are going to feast. Here you go, Adam. This one's on the house. Oh, these are gross. A.K.A. John. These are poverty fruit snacks. Watch this. Watch me get all of them in a row. Ready? Tap it on the ceiling. Oh. Well, we now have mice. Look at Adam's pineapple crack. Someone tell him this is not the move. Hold on. They're fuzzy, bro. But you know what's up? <coughs> what's up? This is literally like a walking. Flex! 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 Watch how durable this case is. Hey, you Let me see. see. Slow. <laughs> oh! <laughs> It's about three minutes after my severe concussion or mild, whatever it is. Line alarm going off. Nothing there. Nothing there. What'd you think of that stunt? Dude, that was pretty sweet. Hey! Fish on! Okay, well, it is uh, a little after midnight right now, and we have not had any action, so there's absolutely no night bite here. We kind of expected it to be a little bit slow this evening and overnight once it got dark. Hopefully in the morning and during the day tomorrow, we have some action. Me and Adam are going to get to bed here and wake up at about 6.30 tomorrow morning or 7 o'clock before sunrise, and we're going to hopefully start fishing and have some more luck tomorrow during the day. So, we're going to hit the hay here, and we will see you guys in the morning can you tell us what happened tonight well, i drank some crown apple and and now there's a hole in the ceiling from your head <laughs> what do you got in there your blow up doll blow up doll little lube Ooh, we're rich rich Good morning everyone. It's about uh, 7.30 right now. I'm gonna do a little bit of work here and get all of our lines back down. We'll have me and Adam jigging back here again and then have the two line alarms up in the front of the shack. So I'm gonna get everything down, get everything ready to go. We're gonna start fishing and uh, hopefully we can catch some fish this morning. All right, possibly the first line alarm fish of this morning anyways. There we go. Oh, I forgot this is the left-handed reel. Yeah, don't lose that. Reel's on the left hand, you me, guys. Me, you want me to do it? <laughs> this guy. 
Hey, that's an eater. Another sauger. That's an eater. That's a nice eater. Eater. We're eating them. One crunch. This is the biggest sauger so far. Fish over here, he's trying to keep it. We're keeping uh, it. <laughs> it's oh, a yeah. little sauger. But it's gonna taste good. I'm gonna get this thing back down and try to catch some more fish. I'm hungry. That remote at him quick. Alright, second fish on the line alarm. Another small one. Oh, ooh. that's a tank. Okay, another line alarm. Let's check it out. It doesn't feel big, that's for sure. It feels maybe a little bit better than what I've been catching, though. Oh yeah, it's a little better. Probably a 13, 14 inch sauger. A little bit bigger than what we've been catching. Adam still has me beat with the 17 though, so. Oh, I got yeah. a, I got a one up old Adam still. That's not gonna do it. Hey, remember when we caught crappies and I got the biggest one of the night? This guy. We <laughs> are going to be having a fish fry on the ice, so uh, we're gonna keep this guy and uh, have ourselves a fish fry tonight. All right, you guys, there's a ton of fish down here. I was just setting this down and I literally have one on, I'm pretty sure already, again. You're getting missed it again. Yep, there it is. Featuring my mustard bottle. Look at that tank, dude. What? That's why we're here. This is why we drove six and a half hours right here. Absolute giants. Let's see it, Adam. All right, dude. Adam's on the line alarm. Dang, son! I'll teach you how to fish. Oh, come on now. Holy crap, dude. Look how... Bro, get the net. Get the net, bro. That's a slab. Lake <laughs> of the Woods freaking slab, dude. Yeah, that was the one that was on mine, too. It's just a small one. Told ya. Big one? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, you want to move the lip sore? Oh, one of them stupid things. Dang, nice cat. Don't lay it on my carpet. Look at this thing. Freaking something big tried to eat that sucker. It's still like bleeding from it. It's going to be that wall I am catching later. That old 45. He's down there. All right, well, Adam just got back from the pooper. Oh. <laughs> nice one, bud. You kind of saw. you. You almost hit your head on the ceiling. Yeah, watch this. <laughs> oh, oh, bro. So. Oh! <laughs> Fish on! Fish on! Oh. That one's not too bad. Are you sure? <laughs> Slab. Bro, you just got caught in 4K, my guy. You and the munchies again? So it is about 6 o'clock right now, 6 o'clock at night, and the bite pretty much stopped at about 4 o'clock, which kind of sucks. We haven't really even marked another fish since then, and the ones we have marked, they're just like completely shut off. So it kind of sucks. The fishing's horrible right now, super slow, and we pretty much have nothing to do except nothing, like watch movies, that's it. So we're going to clean some of these fish up. I think we have six fish that we kept, mostly sauger, and then we're going to cook these fish tonight. Stay tuned, we're going to get these things cleaned up, and we're going to cook some fish tonight. All right, we're about to start cleaning these fish. This is the 17-incher that I caught earlier, biggest fish of the trip. Yeah, okay. Maybe one day you can step your game up and catch a big one, Adam. Well, the only thing you're catching is a buzz. <laughs> All right, well. Okay, that was good. Take number two. 
action. Me and Adam just got our six walleyes and saugers cleaned up. And uh, we got these puppies silk in the fillets. Oh, also, we have not caught another fish. There's been no fish here still. So you guys have not missed anything. We've just been chilling still. So see you soon. All right. So we got my boy Adam over here. Sup. Sup. Yeah. He uh, just made me drive four miles to the Biffs because he had to poop for the fifth time today. What we got going on, we're not going to be cooking fish tonight. Still no fish. We ended up pulling the sleeves out of the holes. You guys can see over here, we got the sleeves pulled out. The whole covers are in and uh, we got the shack all hooked up to the truck, ready to go. We are going to have a fish fry tomorrow. We're gonna move to a different spot and hopefully we can get on some bigger fish or some more fish. So that is gonna wrap up this little portion for tonight. I'm gonna get to bed here. We're gonna wake up in the morning, head to a different spot on the lake here and hopefully we can get on the fish a little bit better. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Woo! Dang, bro. That is sick. You're a baller. This 24 carat, bro. Can you quit flexing so hard? Strip club. As you uh, can see, we're up and it is the next day. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's been a while since we talked to you guys last, honestly. But this morning we got up and we kind of drove around, found a spot to put the shack. And we ended up finding a little bit of structure that we're on. Not much, but a little better than the mud flats that we were fishing in earlier. The fish have not really been biting here during the day. Um, like they were out in the flats. So I'm hoping that they come up on this structure this evening to feed when it gets a little bit later here. But right now, while it's light out, we are gonna cook these fish up. So I got a baggie full of shore lunch here. I'm gonna get some oil in the deep fryer, plug that sucker into the generator, get the oil warming up, and we're gonna start cooking this fish up. So stay tuned. Adam didn't believe me there was a fish on this. That's your minnow. I'm so happy I drove six hours for this. Wait, who drove six hours? You like that USA tip up? Get that on camera, dude. Chill. Yee. You didn't have to flex like that. Sorry. Bro! Oh, my hey, bad. You want some oil? What the? There you go. Hey, we should grab the steak fries before that gets hot. Dude, sun's up. Bites on tonight, baby. Whoa! Hey, hey settle down, Bertha. Settle down. What do we cook fish on? 9,000? This one's called the John Door Show. Johnny boy from Mindac. Oh, want to see that one more time? Almost as nice as the shanty, though. Good. Dang, you're just gonna take my rod like that? Here, here. No, you can catch it. The fans want to see you slack, slap a fish. Okay, well you just let everyone down. I can reel right-handed, no. We well, gotta hook them first, bud. Dude, monster. Monster. That's good eating right there. Hear that? That's eggshell entering the eggs. That was a horrible crack, you guys. Don't do this at home. I'm experienced. Where'd you get these eggs, bro? The flea market? Goodwill? Good thing I caught all these fish. See these slabs? Mine. Want to see Adam's? There it is. A wee little, little lad. No, I usually just eat them frozen. Oh. Do you want one? Try it. You know how you say that? The brand? You're a hoe.
My lens is fogged. You guys get to see a foggy fish catch. I'm not feeling them. Get them? Yeah, it's a Oh, dink. yeah. Lake of the Woods special, baby! Monsters. Ready? Oh, dude, it's not fitting through the hole. Oh, 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 oh. Hold up. It's got my line and your line. Okay, we're going to deal with this. This is a cluster right now. We got both batches of walleye done here and the fries and me and Adam are going to dig in here before everything gets more cold than it already is because Adam just pulled a dink up that tangled both of our lines so I just got done dealing with that and that was kind of a pain in the butt so we're going to sit down here, eat this stuff, enjoy our food and we will get back to you guys when we are done eating. Right on. Oh, look at that baby. You like that? No. I did. All right, well, we just finished eating our dinner here, and the fish was delicious, by the way. We are back fishing again now, so we're on to a little bit bigger fish at this spot. I'm going to get this guy back in the water, and we're going to keep fishing here for a little bit. Hey! Hey! Nope, it's gone. <laughs> no Luke's here still sleeping. Bro, you missed the morning, but yeah, I saw that six inch you caught. Well, good morning everyone. It is our final morning on the ice and Adam is still trying to fish for some reason. He's a grinder and he's just trying to I don't know he's just trying to harvest everything in the lake apparently but I'm packing up as you can see I got three whole sleeves pulled out already and the covers on and Adam's fishing out of the last one this is what we're dealing with for weather outside right now of course on the day we're about to leave it's a absolute white out and we can't see more than like 50 yards so that's nice but anyways, that is what we're dealing with for weather, so we need to pack up and get the heck out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know the fishing was not crazy, and it was kind of hard to keep you guys entertained over the last three days with horrible fishing. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you guys click that subscribe button down below this video, and we will see you guys on the next one when we hopefully have some better fishing. See ya! Don't forget I got the biggest fish. See ya!